Local investors and entrepreneurs are calling for government intervention uh, to avert what they're calling an imminent collapse of some local companies due to low patronage of their products. They want government to take certain measures to address their concerns. According to them, they're facing serious competition from the import of cheap products. This includes government agencies that have also resorted to importing products that they can easily get from local manufacturers. This, if not addressed, according to them, is defeating government's agenda to create more employment and also attract Ghanaian investors in the diaspora to come back and invest in the country. We'll soon be joined by the Deputy Ranking Member for Trade, uh, beg your pardon, Industry and Tourism, Yusuf Suleimana. But before that, take a listen to a frustrated investor. It has always been with uh, competition from those who are dumping. You know, it is not, uh, it cannot be said that our borders are well protected. There is a, a lot of, though government is doing uh, its best to uh, put the controls at the, uh, the entry points uh, that, are, uh, that we have, like the ports and the harbors. Um, going beyond that, the 600 uh, kilometer <laughs> border is very porous and there is a lot of uh, cheap imports coming in from unapproved routes which poses a lot of competition for us so there are some markets that we just can't sell for instance uh, if you take Volta region for instance you will hardly find our product there except for our soap you will not find the rice and the oil because there is very vicious competition from cheap imports that are coming from across the border this remains uh, a huge challenge. Rice, for instance, um, the choice of the people remains a challenge. The palate of Ghanaians uh, has been trained to appreciate the imported rice which we have been accustomed to over, over the past 20 years. So uh, when they see the, the local option, uh, even though it is cheaper than the imported one in the store, they do not have any uh, experience with it. So there is an inertia to trial, which is quite, uh, you know, natural. So we have been focusing a lot in going into the market and doing sampling, giving people the opportunity to taste the option of the rice that is locally available and nutritious, you know, and even more affordable than most of the imported uh, ones. The imported rice that you find, which uh, can beat our rice in price, uh, you will you will find that. Uh, you cannot compare it to our rice also in terms of quality. Quality products that are made in this country should be appreciated and supported by our own people first. It's only when we are produced enough for our own people to consume that we can export. So Ghanaians should appreciate what is ours. Okay, so to, to the government, we want to say we are grateful for all the support that government keeps uh, offering to industry in general, but there is more that can can be done uh, there are there are a lot of government agencies that are out there to seek the interest of local industry to promote local industry would want to encourage them to also you know uh, extend the message to uh, government agencies who are into the consumption of consumable products like oil rice soap these things that we make readily uh, in Ghana you know we, we, we should encourage these buying agencies to buy more of what we have available so we can keep people in employment, we can motivate our farmers to produce more, and together we will be able to build a, a prosperous future for Ghana and become self-sustainable uh, as a nation. So that's an investor there, uh, one of the, you know, a lot of Ghanaians in the diaspora, they fantasize with the idea of coming back to the country to invest. That's one of them who's been investing in rice farming. Let's now go on the line now. Uh, I'm joined by Deputy Ranking Member of Trade, Industry and Tourism Committee of Parliament, Yusuf Suleimana. Mr. Suleimana, thanks for your time this afternoon. How are you? I'm not doing bad at all. I'm trust that I trust that you're doing well as well. Yeah, we are also managing. What's your initial comment about the fact that Ghanaians are here in this country? Well, especially those in the diaspora who have been 
so to, I mean, for lack of a better word, lured to come and invest in this country. They're finding the business environment really unfavorable because they say, first of all, people are not even patronizing locally manufactured goods that they are producing. Yeah, so first of all, let me say uh, a good afternoon to your uh, cherished uh, listeners. I think this is a very important issue that we have to all look at and look at it uh, holistically. Because you cannot encourage an investor, I mean somebody, uh, to come into your country, a country that he is proud of, a country that he belongs to, and then he's coming to pay his dues only for him to be sorted in one way or the other. And so uh, it is important that we make some kind of provisions, we make some kind of uh, policies that will favor uh, them so that they are able to do their business and do it well. You know, this issue of uh, consuming our own uh, products and services has been with us for a very long time now. I remember very well that in 2013, there was a very serious campaign to ensure that we consume our own and we uh, patronize our own services and products. Mm. We need to plan uh, this home very well. We need to persuade our people. We need to encourage our people. We need to appeal to our people to be very uh, proud of our own and we should show some patriotism by patronizing our products. Well, it looks like the laws may not necessarily be helping. Uh, as a member of the, co as a ranking member on the committee, do you find the laws, you know, uh, uh, favorable enough for persons like these that we have, so to speak, again, lured into the country to invest? Yeah, it may not necessarily be laws, but I think that even the laws we have, the implementation in one way or the other has been a problem. For let, me, let me give you an example. Um, let's say uh, somebody comes in to uh, produce, uh, let's say, drink. And if the drinks do not meet uh, the standards, it is difficult for you to even persuade your people to patronize the locally made as against what is being imported. Mm. And so even if there's a law that says that, look, don't bring in, uh, uh, let's say, drinks and that is locally manufactured, is locally produced, let the people process it and let the people buy it, they will definitely want to compare it with what is happening out there. And so I think that government needs to come out with policies and uh, that will assist locally produced uh, products or people who are doing local produced products to be able to do it and do it well. We should be able to package our drinks and whatever very well to meet standards. Another thing that we can do is to also look at the competition between what we have and... Hello? Looks like I've lost uh, Mr. Yusuf Suleimana there. He's a deputy ranking member on the Trade Committee in Parliament trying to help us deal with this issue about lack of interest or the seeming lack of interest in made in Ghana uh, manufactured goods, which seems to be disappointing some investors, especially Ghanaians in the diaspora who have been lured back into the country to invest. We earlier posted a question on social media about what you thought could be done to generate more interest in locally made products. So let's see what some of you are saying on Facebook. Um, Abusha, Abush Baba says, locally made products must be used more than the foreign products. Yes, we know that that's a fact, but what do you think we can do to make people use it more? Has Hussein Abdul Karim says, by standardizing the products, and that's a key point, and which has been a part of the conversation over and over again about lack of standardization. Prefer Isaac says, reduce the price because we pride ourselves that locally made products are good. You go to a seller and the price given you will make you look for a foreign substitute. Vigilant Man says, affordable prices and stop importation. Johnny K says, more creative, cre more creative ideas is needed uh, are needed to a extend the finishing of these products and to attract consumers all across the globe. Packaging, you, the point you're trying to make. Derek Darkway says, by making it a packaging case, okay, as marketing strategy. So again, packaging there. Enlargement with small while under it. I don't understand, Mary, what your comment is. Agbeko says, branding, quality, pricing. Sum it all up in three words. Branding, quality, pricing. Um, Nia Mate says, export more. Simple. Okay. Dalton Otu says, exporting of certain products must stop. 
exporting, you may not importing. Les Gidding says just making it a bit more modern to suit everyone, both international and local people. Standardization and, and the packaging, it looks like. Think, thinking Dom Loveland, sensitization and promotion. Another key point made there, sensitization and promotion. Uh, David says high demand, quality and or strength, price and low tax. Well, final comment, final two more comments. This is Samuel Amutanga Akaninga says, quality and price, cutthroat prices and, uh, and poor quality. You mean that's why we're not uh, doing well with it. The Omama Kweku said the problem is the price and the finishing. So I think that they put it all together right there in a very few words, if you like. Pricing, packaging, quality, standardization, well, it's up to us to make it work if it has to. This is still The Pulse with me, Gifty and Dua P.